Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another video blog. Happy Tuesday! If you're an American, we just had a big holiday, Memorial Weekend, and I hope you had a lot of play time with friends, family, kids, dogs, spend time outdoors, it's almost summer. But when I was doing my, my stretches this morning, I was thinking about the number of people that are probably not happy this morning. Are you one of those people who can't wait for Friday to come? You can't wait for vacation to come? You hate Mondays or post-holidays because you don't want to go back to work, because you hate your job, or you, you're just bored, you burned out, you need to create a change. Are you one of those people? I have been there. Before I found this career, I was a personal trainer. I was mentally burned out, not physically burned out because of many hours. I had a good balance with that, but I was mentally, emotionally, spiritually burned out because I was bored. I wanted to be doing something else, so I've been there. So that's what I call this kind of mental, emotional, spiritual stress is what I call a silent stressor because a lot of times you don't know it's affecting your health. You know you're in an uncomfortable place, but you don't really know how much it's taking a toll on your health, energy, and your ability to have joy. So if you want those people who can't wait for Friday or for your vacation because you totally dissatisfied with your job, you're creating this... What I, with this stress here, what I call unhappiness gap, meaning you are here now, but wishing you, wishing you were here. And a lot of times you might not know what this is, but a lot of times when you're not satisfied, happy, you hate your job, you are thinking, how can I get out? I have been there and it was very uncomfortable for me. So what this creates, as I said, it creates a tremendous mental stress because you're not feeling um, that you're expressing your true gifts and talents in your work. So you're mentally stressed. Emotionally, because you don't feel connected with your work, with the people you're sharing a lot of hours in your week. And spiritual stress is because you might not feel that you're f uh, fulfilling your purpose, your calling. There's a big difference between just having a job to pay the bills and have a calling. So it creates this gap here, and the bigger the gap, the bigger the stress. And that stress takes a toll. It starts to affect your relationships, your mood, your hormones, and it starts affecting your health. And then you might be consumed with your work, so you start compromising your fitness, your nutrition, and everything goes downhill from there. So what do you do? A lot of the clients that come to see me, as you know, they come um, because they want me to help them to deepen their abilities to handle stress. I never say eliminate stress, although it's a goal to elim elim eliminate this kind of stress. But it's not realistic for a lot of you, or even for me, to tell my clients, just quit your job, right? I always tell my clients, oh, there's, you have two options. You can quit your job or you can find a new job. And that is not a black and white process. So I guide my clients on how to navigate that process while they start finding joy. So here are the three strategies I use with my clients when they are in this place that they hate their work, their job, and they wanna find something else. So before I, drive into, uh, I, I dive into the three strategies, I wanna share with you one of the reasons why it's so hard to be in a place that you hate your job and why Christmas stress is because a lot of times because you're paying the bills, you're supporting your family, it's easy for you to think you have no control or no choice and the brain hates not having control. And I'm here to tell you, you do have control and you do have a choice. But sometimes the choice it's not, again, black and white. You can just quit your job. So my job as a coach is to help my clients to navigate the process of taking control back, making a good choice, while they find some joy in energy again. So here are the three strategies I use. Number one, if you are in this place, I encourage you to change your mindset and reframe. So when you go to work, instead of thinking that you're stuck in an environment that you absolutely have no choice, start walking at work thinking that, that's a transition period for you, that you are in the process of figuring out something new. Stop telling your, yourself, your brain, that you have no choice or you don't have any control because that will increase your stress. Number two, find meaning. What can you find in your work that is meaningful? 
maybe help your co-workers, maybe contributing to a bigger cause. Find meaning in what you're doing right now. As much as you might dislike your job or even hate your job, find one thing that can give you some meaning. That will relieve your stress. And number three, get curious. You start exploring options. I see a lot of people, I talk to a lot of clients, uh, people at times who might become clients or not, that have convinced the brain that they don't have a choice. We live in a very abundant world. It's easy to think that there's not enough jobs out there, the economy is bad, um, you're too old, or you're not good enough, you don't have the skills. Stop that negative thought, th those negative thoughts, and start exploring and see what's possible there. Just start exploring. Open your mind because, again, if you keep telling yourself you have no choice, you have no control, what you're doing with your mind, you're closing so you can see what's out there. So those are my two strategies that I use with a lot of my clients. Shift your mindset, reframe your thoughts, find meaning in something you do at your work every day, and get curious because you don't need to be stuck in this situation for a long time. There are other things for you to do, and you just need to give yourself a permission to start contemplating something new in your life that might bring you more joy, more health, more energy, and more fulfillment, which is true success. Thank you so much. If this video helped you, please um, share uh, your thoughts with me below my video. Just make a comment on the YouTube page. If this video is not for you, but you know somebody in your life that might be in the situation of hating their job, super happy with their work, Please share my videos. Help me to bring some more knowledge, some wisdom, and some help to a lot of people who can use right now. Share on your social, um, social media, Facebook page, your Twitter page, or just email a friend directly and just by saying that you were thinking about that friend. So help me to share the more joy, more happiness, and more success. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon.